we've helped out dozens and dozens of buyers, um, you know, to purchase in this very tough market. Can you kind of explain, you know, number one, why is the market tough? What's going on out there? So, uh, you know, the, the main thing that we're seeing right now is just not enough inventory. You know, um, we're not seeing, we're seeing probably under two months worth of inventory right now when the average mm -hmm. should be around five or six months. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's a pretty glaring difference, especially given the fact that, you know, the second thing that we're seeing, there's just such an influx of buyers. Um, earlier this year, late last year, when Rhode Island Housing rolled out this $17,500 grant for, uh, you know, these first time home buyers, even if people weren't qualified, even if they didn't do their homework on exactly what it meant to take advantage of this program, you just saw them flooding the market. So you just saw every open house that we, that we go to now especially in that first time home buyer range, you know, like the, the 325 to, to four range, there's, there's 75, 80 people at every single open house. Mm -hmm. And, and even if the house, you know, doesn't warrant that we're still seeing, we're, we're seeing 20, 25 offers being thrown in. We're seeing people wave things. We're seeing people who go crazy over ask, you know, it's, it's tough right now. Now, Andrew, when you're walking in and you have a buyer and you're walking into an open house and there are 60, 70, 80 people and you're in a line down the road with these buyers. What are you saying? What are you doing to help reassure them that, hey, you know what, we're going to find you the right home? Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, there, there's always going to be another home. You know, like I don't I don't necessarily want to downplay the situation. And if people like the home that they're seeing, then we're certainly going to do whatever we can to help them get that home. We're mm -hmm. going to negotiate on their behalf. We're going to talk to the sell side to see exactly, you know, what's the most important thing to these sellers, because beyond, you know, it's, it, I don't think it's just about the price at this point. When the set when it's such a seller's market like we're in right now, they have so many, you know, they have so many freedoms here where they can kind of dictate all of the terms in the contract. So it's on us as, you know, the advisor to sort of figure out exactly what's going to get our buyers to that point. What are other things a buyer can do when they're working with a team like the Spirito team, you know, like, and, and I'm kind of getting at like the off market properties. Can you kind of explain how we, we source and uh, connect buyers and sellers with off market properties and what that means? Yeah, absolutely. So, so on the Dispirito team, you know, we, I'd say we predominantly have listings, you know, and we're, we're constantly going to listing appointments. We're meeting with people. We work with investors. We, we have a lot of things going on behind the scenes before we're necessarily even hitting the market. We can potentially get our buyers in and see and see if it's a good fit. And as long as they're, as long as they understand, you know, they're going to have to meet us where we need to be on the price. We can, we can potentially get people in the right fit before they have to deal with all the competition on the open market.